Hi, welcome back to Felix Art World. Today I'll be working on a smaller pumpkin. This one's made out of styrofoam. I repainted it. It's a little bit up and I added this little paper mache base because it has a plastic thing and it was very unsteady. So it's much steady now. Right here I have this bronze metallic bronze by full card and I added flow A to it to make cells. I will begin pouring the white, the umbleach white by this is by Liquitex, uh, the basics line. And it's thicker than it would be for a canvas because it's easier to control on a three-dimensional object. If it's too runny, it's um, it's a little harder. Now I'm moving to a brush so I can get full coverage on it. The color palette I'm using for this project is this turquoise. Turquoise I combine two different colors, and same with the orange, combine these two different colors, two different tones of the same color. The brown is actually orange with a lot of black and the dirty white unbleached titanium and the bronze with Flow 8 by Liquitex. Everything is combined with, mixed in with Flow Draw. And I will begin with the brown, which is actually a super dark orange. And let's see, orange. No, no, let's do the bronze. Ooh, I hope to see some cell action. All right, now orange. Let's see how it looks with the orange on top. Well, it's gonna be layer. I'll be adding more and more paint. And right at this point, I began to accelerate the video to save time and, and so that this video is not as long. So that's why the paint looks like it's flowing faster, but in reality, it was flowing rather slow. And it's accelerated to twice the speed. I think at this point I should be seeing cell action, but I don't see any cells. That's weird. Oh well, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I think this art form is really good to be detached from the outcome because you know it's so. We have less control over the paint and what the paint's gonna do in this style as opposed to painting with a brush. I feel like I should stop. I think this is a good moment to stop. I'm just analyzing it, seeing it. I don't see as many 
cells as I would like to. I mean, I don't see much cellular action, actually. Maybe I should have applied some air. And this, the, all the, the drip paint on the silicone mat, I'm going to save that. This time I'm going to save it for, let it dry on the mat to get some skins. Uh, so I'm applying some warm heat, warm heat, <laughs> warm air. And I didn't succeed. I, I Maybe I waited too long. So now I'm playing with the skins. And um, I'm just going to do a swipe and maybe some cells will open up, at least on the silicone mat. Okay, I'm going to heat it with some warm air and see if some cells open. Yeah, they're opening a little bit. You can barely see them. The camera is not a good it at a good angle to appreciate it fully, but I'll get a close up later. Now let's get this baby out of the way. I don't wanna ruin it. I wanna keep playing with the skins. Hmm, I think I'm gonna swipe some of that paint, transfer it to this other silicon piece, silicon matte flat piece to do something slightly different with that one. And this is a technique I use if you were to save this paint in a container, in a small container, uh, this is what you will do. Instead of dropping it on a flat mat, you will drop it in the container and you can save it for a while, reuse it for another project, use it as a basic, as a base paint, pillow paint on your canvas or whatever project you're working on. I'm going to keep swiping and hopefully I get some more cell action. All right, next day is completely dry. I like it. I love this color palette. Love that bronze. I'm totally biased because I love metallics. I can see a cell here and there. But it's good. I like the outcome. Now, the skin. Let's talk about the skin. I left it drying indoors all night. But I left it covered with um, a big plastic container. And it didn't dry up. So I took it outside for three hours. And this is what happened. I made the mistake of putting it directly on the sunlight with an oven grill rack on top of it. So the animals wouldn't mess with it. And it casted a shade and left marks. I really don't know how that worked out. It wasn't touching the paint. I don't know. And here you can see how these little bubbles, like it was boiling. It was just too hot. So leave and learn next time. Maybe I'll leave it not in the direct sunlight. And I'll just cover it with um, something else that protects it better and doesn't leave marks like this one. Or maybe just leave it inside. This is the best way, I think, leaving it inside. All right, so you can see some cell action over there. There's a lot more cell action in this one. Check those out. And I made jewelry with the other skin I set aside, the one I swiped off. Uh, the domes, they're made out of plastic. You can buy them already made. So it's not resin. I mean, not a resin that I mix here at home. It's uh, It might be resin, but, or plastic. And it's just ready to be glued on your pendants. I think it looks beautiful. I really love that orangey bronze color all right we are done with this video this is the end thank you for your attention thank you for watching and give it a like and subscribe thank you ciao ciao